about it. I, I, one thing that I will say is, I mean, I, I keep arguing with my, my boys about this, about Frank. I like that they starting him. I like that they're using him in different positions. But they keep saying that he, he's not a point guard, that he needs to, you know, they don't want to take him away from what he does naturally, so they let, let him not play point guard. But his whole career, he's played point guard, you know, as far as amateur career. They brought him to the NBA. He's played point guard. The only time he hasn't played point guard is on the Knicks. They're still yet to give him a legitimate shot of watching him thoroughly play point guard. I hate to see Tim Hardaway taking the ball up quick because all he's going to do is jack up a three. Mm -hmm. Frank is the only guy who's looking to get everybody in goal. Uh, he would have had like six assists if dudes weren't missing layups, you know what I mean, in the beginning of the game when he was making a couple of passes. And even sometimes the pass is so good that the defense deliberately fouled because they didn't want to give it the layup because, you know, the momentum. Like, I feel like, you know, I don't want to complain, but they need to they need to give him more of a look or, or tell him to, to run the point more. Even when he's in this three-guard lineup, mm -hmm. if he's saying he's playing small forward, he's not playing small yeah. forward. He's guarding the small forward, the three-guard lineup. So, essentially, he's just another guard, another creator, something to keep the offense fluid because it gets stagnant sometimes. Knox is not as elusive at this point of his career. So, they got Frank doing that, and I understand that, but you know, I, I like to see him at the top of the key running the pick and roll and, you know, making decisions, going through him, getting to the free throw line and things like that. Uh, I just want to know what your thoughts on that. I'll, I'll hang up and listen. All right. Appreciate you, Wes. Um, JL, let's go ahead, man. Go ahead yeah. and weigh in on that first, man. What, what do you think? I mean, Fisdale said, you know, Fisdale said that uh, even though um, – you know, Frank will be out there with the three guards. He said him and Trey would be, you know, the the primary um, handlers. So, so what do you think about Wes's comments? I mean, it's true. I mean, at least for this game, I do like I I do I do like him starting at small forward. I actually kind of pat myself on the back right now. <laughs> so, on Sunday, I recorded, and I said if it's if it's keep what you kill for real, then it's probably gonna be it should be Trey, Tim, Frank. Lance and cancer and actually happened. I didn't think it was going to happen, but, <laughs> <laughs> but also, um, I, I agree with your, with your, um, your sentiments, man. I want him to actually run some pick and roll more. Yes. I was hoping that once Trey sat down and Baker gate, came in, I was hoping he would actually take over a little bit more at, as a league guard, but it still seemed like he was doing a Deferring. lot of deferring chilling in the corner i didn't like that at all yeah hopefully fizzdale kind of finds a way to stop that or involve him a little bit more because he can see over certain players and make that pass better I, even though he can't initiate the offense off the dribble all the time I, I just need him to get more comfortable with that i hear that al what's your take on it yeah when you you know even dating back to last year uh frank showed that he could run the pick and roll so i think I think it's definitely a skill that should be developed and he should definitely, he definitely deserves at least like a shot at being the lead guard this year, you know, because that's, I think that's the ideal role that you want him to settle into if he's going to develop the way I'm going to develop. So like you got to in a year like this, you know, where nobody's, nobody's expecting anything out of the team. This is the perfect time to give it a shot. You know what I mean? But uh, I mean, I, and the cool thing is too, is like you can throw him out there with other guards and it, you know, he could guard whoever you want on defense. That's kind of the beauty of putting him out there. Kind of like tonight, they had him on Prince a little bit. You know, he switched on Trey Young a couple times. Like, I mean, he can he can guard pretty much anyone one to three, like, more than comfortably. Um, but then on offense, it would be nice to see him kind of being the initiator sometimes. And then, you know, Burke, like, if you got Burke out there too, I understand he's, you know, a point guard by trade, but you could run him off some dribble handoffs kind of thing, you know, whatever, get him running downhill a little bit because he's a good finisher. You know, there, there's ways to still involve guys like Burke without having them necessarily have the half that ball in their hands coming down the court. And then you could give Frank some reps that way, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I, I agree, man. I, I think that I've, I've been saying it even when they made the lineup change. Number one, I like him out there um, with, with Trey and, and Timmy. Um, not necessarily at the expense of Knox. We'll figure out what happens once Knox comes around. But um, I feel like this, I mean, if there was ever a time to experiment and see what he could really do, now's the time. You know, we got him last year with the number eight pick. Um, you know, last year wasn't what we wanted it to be. I'll say, I'll put it lightly. 
Uh, obviously, with Donovan Mitchell and Dennis Smith, you know, showing off their skill sets, it, you know, that whole shit was haunting us the whole year. Um, but, you know, this kid, he's, he's still young. He's 20 years old. We don't know what he's going to be yet. Now is the time to really experiment with him and, and see what the future holds for him. Is, is he going to be better um, at the off-ball positions, whether it's a two or the three? You know, can he become a lead guard? You saw, you know, he was, he was aggressive tonight when, when he when he was pushing the rock up. He was definitely aggressive tonight. You know, it didn't really materialize too much, but um, you like yeah. that he was he was reacting and not just thinking out there. You, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. like that's I said. One thing, yeah, that's one thing I will say that he wasn't doing in preseason. Yeah. He wasn't actually pushing the ball on the breaks. He actually, when he was kind of deferring even in preseason, he got the rebound, he would pass it off the first. But today, right. actually, he called push the ball on the break. Man, you know, you know, nobody's gonna ever come on this this show again. I know it's y'all show talking that Moody ABS. You know what I'm saying? I was like, yo, we would have lost the game. That dude would have been in there. Dude, that dude is like a cancer, yo. You see him playing, it's like you get sick automatically. Looking at you, like, yo, I can't take this. You know what I'm saying? Nah, so I don't want to hear no 